Hey, what's up, guys? Eyes open in California here. So today is Saturday, December 2nd, 2023. Now, I wanted to ask you a question. I want to come on here to ask you this question. What if I was to ask you if you knew what Saturnalia was? Do you know what Saturnalia is? Okay, so... What if I was to ask you right now to stop what you're doing and to do a a quick search as to what Saturnalia is? How would you respond to that? Would you say that you don't have any time right now? Well, the, the truth of the matter is that most people would say that right now. You would say, I don't have any time to research that. I'm too busy Christmas shopping. I'm too busy decorating my house for Christmas. I'm, I'm too busy picking out a Christmas tree. I got to get a Christmas tree today. I got to take my family down to the mall. So my kids can take a picture with Satan Claus. You would say you have to buy Christmas gifts and buy Christmas cards. You would have to be coordinating the Christmas feast. This is unfortunately what how most people would respond to me if I asked you to do a quick search about Saturnalia. But if someone if someone was to do that quick search that I'm recommending, you would quickly figure out that Christmas is Saturnalia. It just has a different name. So Back in the 4th century, Emperor Constantine from the Roman Empire, he was baptized, and he quickly learned that Jesus is exactly who Jesus said he was. He's the Son of God. God the Father and God the Mother sent their only begotten Son, Jesus, God the Son, into this matrix, to be born into this matrix, just the same as us, to come into this world born of a young, marriageable-aged woman. Um, Came in the world kicking and screaming just like us to, to fulfill Isaiah 53 so that salvation would be possible. They sent us their only begotten son. Their only begotten son, he was not born in December. The Lord's birthday is not in December. So anyways, getting back to Emperor Constantine. Emperor Constantine wanted to convert the Roman Empire to Christianity because they were pagan. They were just worshiping just nonsense. Anyways, um, so there was an upheaval raised immediately by his Senate and governors or all this, however their setup went. And people said, what about Saturnalia? What are we going to do about our, our winter festival? And so the emperor said, well, we'll just rename it Christmas. We'll just call it the Lord's birthday. And they're, after some murmuring, they were like, eh, that works. And that was that. And and for you know 16, 1700 years or more, I haven't done the math on it, but um people have been mistakenly celebrating a a pagan winter festival, thinking that it was the Lord's birthday. But the Lord wasn't born in December. The whole thing's a sham. During Saturnalia. People would set up Saturnalia candles all over their house, you know, like Christmas lights. They would have a Saturnalia tree, which they would decorate. They would send Saturnalia cards to each other. They would send Saturnalia gifts to each other. They would have a Saturnalia gathering. People would drink and dance and carry on. And, and they would do basically every single thing that people are doing for Christmas right now. It's the same thing. And Christmas is Saturnalia renamed. But it's the same thing. It's, it's pagan worship. But here's the thing. Before it was called Saturnalia, the Greeks had the same winter festival and they called it something else. Where they worship like Kronos or something, who was like their equivalent of Saturn, which is like it's just it, 
It keeps changing names, but it's the same thing. It's pagan. Christmas is pagan. The Lord was not born in December. So I ask everybody, do a quick search on the definition of what the word Saturnalia is. Doesn't take very much digging to discover this, but you do have to dig. You get what I mean? If if you don't want to do the search and you have been baptized by water in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, then ask God. God's going to tell you. The Lord was not born in December. I mean, like, we're going to shut this thing down because this is just absurd at this point in time. It says in the book of Daniel, Daniel seal up the book until the time of the end, right? Knowledge is going to be increased and people are going to run to and fro. Well, this is the time of the end and knowledge is increasing and people need to run to and fro with it. The truth of the matter is modern day Christianity, modern day Christianity is built upon lie after lie after lie. And it's commingled with pagan doctrine and ideologies. It's horrible. It's criminal. And uh, we're going to get this thing straightened out. One day at a time, little by little, we're going to get this thing straightened out. So for right now, the, the message that I have to convey to you is to repent, to turn away from this Christmas nonsense. Repent ye therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Less than 10% of the body of Christ are going to be raptured. Spirit and truth equals rapture. More than 90% of the body of Christ are going to be left behind. You can't, you can't co-mingle the kingdom teachings with pagan ideologies and pagan festivals and pagan things. You have churches pushing this Christmas nonsense on people. It's pagan. You have churches doing things like trick or trunk where they're passing out Halloween candy. It's pagan. You have churches doing Easter egg hunts. Do you know what an Easter egg is? Yeah, celebrate Resurrection Sunday. Praise the Lord for fulfilling Isaiah 53. Praise the Lord for resurrecting in glory. But don't be coloring eggs. Because in ancient times, they would sacrifice babies. And they would color those eggs. They would dip those eggs in baby's blood and offer it to Ishtar. Easter. Ishtar. That's what an Easter egg is. You're mocking that. What I'm trying to tell you is that this is that time that Daniel wrote about. And this is that new knowledge that people are supposed to run to and fro with. And we're going to get this thing straightened out one way or the other, whether you like it or not. You might not like what I'm saying, but you're going to like the kingdom of heaven. You might not like what I'm saying, but you're going to love making the rapture. You're not going to make the rapture unless this mess gets straightened out. So let's straighten this thing out together. You need to repent from this pagan festival season. You're not going to impress the Lord with your decorations. The Lord wasn't even born in December. And to make matters worse, you can't drive down the street without seeing inflatable Satan claws in somebody's front lawn. There's Saturnalia lights all over people's houses. You turn on the radio in your car, and it's nothing but Saturnalia music. The whole thing's a sham. It's, it's pagan worship. And in the spirit, people's worship materialize into something that's tangible. It's scoopable. It can be picked up with a spoon. You can, you can pick up worship and praise and glory, you can pick it up with a spoon and they can and it can be can be thrown. Just read the Bible. Giving praise and worship to pagan nonsense. It's 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 empowering the darkness, the dark forces with with some kind of like spiritual something or another. 
you're, you're giving them power to do stuff like don't don't empower the enemy and its people and christmas is nonsense it's saturnalia and it's pagan so now if somebody asks you hey do you know what saturnalia is you can say yeah it's pagan it's a pagan winter festival so the next question is why are you spending all your time setting up for a pagan winter festival and all your money and all your effort? Why are you giving all this glory to pagan nonsense? That's the real question. So his eyes open in California. I'm trying to open your eyes too. Open your eyes to the, the sham, the ongoing sham that's been going on for 16, 17, 1800 years now. It's about time to put it to rest. The Lord wasn't born in December. Christmas is definitely not his birthday. I've been praying about when his birthday is and I've gotten no answer, but I've had plenty of dreams telling me it's not Christmas. Then all you gotta do is be baptized by water, the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Then you can ask the bosses too. You can ask Father, Mother, and the Lord. You can ask them, three different people, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You can ask them, what is Christmas? And you'll get your answer. But you got to be baptized. And if you don't think you got to be baptized, then there's another sham that's going on. You've been shammed by Satan's Trojan horse, Paul. Paul and Luke were... They didn't work for Jesus. Paul and Luke were the Trojan horses of the enemy. They completely convoluted the truth. You're not saved just because you believe in Jesus. Jesus said no such thing. Like I'm trying to tell you, modern day Christianity is built upon lie after lie after lie. And it's intermingled with pagan ideologies and traditions and we're going to get this thing straightened out so repent ye therefore for the kingdom of heaven is at hand repent from pagan festivals now you know what saturnalia is his eyes open to california thank you god bless you oh there's one last thing there, this one kind of gets me all every time I, I've recorded this a few times. There's a high percentage of people, or or not a high percentage of people. I'm just going to come out and say it. Um, after this Saturnalia winter pagan festival season is over, there's a unfortunately a high rate of suicide which follows this pagan festival season and the reason why is because one of the reasons why is because that spirit that demon that is over this pagan season departs and when it departs it it, it leaves a sort of like a postpartum depression with people or or the demon stays and that demon misses that pagan festival season. I haven't really quite figured out which one it is yet. But I know that it is absolutely related to that demon that enters into the, the, the dwelling place during that pagan season. You're, you're, people are inviting these spirits into their home and and once that season is over it leaves a an emptiness for some and and, and for some it, that emptiness consumes them and i'm not saying this is the case with every every suicide after that but it's related to this it's, re it's related to this this spiritual thing that's over this pagan season i don't i don't know how to explain it 
I, I don't know the words to explain it. But it's a very real thing. And 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 and, and that. it's a very real thing. It's a very serious thing. And and one of the reasons why you have to turn away from all this pagan nonsense is because people are inviting that wickedness in. They are inviting it in themselves. And when that, that season is over, there's there's some that um, they just they can't deal with that overwhelming whatever that is. And I'm just saying um, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I, I don't even have the words to explain what I'm trying to say, but in my heart, I, I, I know I know what I want to say, but I can't find the words to say it. I can't find the words to say it. The 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 high rate of suicide that follows the the pagan Saturnalia season is it's connected to those spirits and those demons that 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 enter during that season it's related to it somehow some way i know this like i know this like i know this in my heart i know this i don't i don't know the words to explain this but i'm telling you um people are playing with fire you don't play with wicked spirits you don't play with demons you don't you don't play with pagan crap because there's a price to pay in the end so anyways, that's the other side of this season. And if um, if anybody in your family has ever done the unthinkable, you know what I'm talking about. So anyways, it's eyes open in California. Thank you. God bless you.